All right, folks. The Type 95 Jiro Tier 6 Normal Japanese Tank Destroyer looks kinda like a BERT, the FE 304, just not as fast. Has nowhere near as good of a horsepower per ton ratio for this vehicle, only about 9, so about the same as a Churchill. And even though on paper, the top speed is 40, the effective top speed is like what, 25? 30 at best? So definitely not the fastest, and unlike the higher tier Japanese tank destroyers, this thing doesn't have armor, has only 50 at best, 25 likely for the hull roof and the superstructure, so yeah definitely not the well armored, heavier Japanese tank destroyers, it is based off of the Type 95 heavy quote unquote, but it's more like a medium tank nowadays. So basically converting a tier 4 or tier 3 with a large caliber gun into a tank destroyer, practically. Well, it is a 105 for the main cannon, and that is a misleading stock photo or stock upgrade. But 175 millimeters of pin, which is all right. Gold shell pin is also decent. 300 alpha, two shot itself or three shot most tier sixes. Reload time is all right for lower tier. Two seconds of aim time is quick. Accuracy is not half bad with a large caliber gun. 0.35 is pretty decent when you think about it. 5 degrees of gun depression, kinda sucks. 15 elevation. Traverse angle for the gun size are pretty decent, 12 compared to the average 10. 40 rounds of ammo, gun traverse speed of 40 degrees per second. Full man crew without the radio operator, so you have to train a new radio operator at tier 7, I believe. 40 kilometers per hour top speed. You're not reaching it with only 9.1 <laughs> horsepower per ratio, so definitely not the fastest to rev up. Maybe you could put a turbocharger, but that is kind of kind of weird <laughs> when you think about it. 40 degrees per second for hull traverse, which is quick, but effectively that's like what 30, not the quickest. Hull armor is only 50 at the front, 25 at the sides, and 20 at the rear. View range is meh. I mean, it's low tier, so. Not expecting a higher view range, but radio is crap. <laughs> Average at best. Oh, why? Well, it's not the fastest, and definitely it's a Type 95 with a superstructure in the back. Looks a little bit like a bird, but just slightly elongated, right? Slightly. Yeah, it's like a bird, just a little bit longer in the back. And definitely doesn't have the 25 24 horsepower per time ratio or 77. <laughs> Kilometers per hour top speed, so it's not as fast as a BERT. Definitely not as fast. Oof. Also doesn't have the armor, but... Eh, stock gun is a 75mm, 150mm of pin, which is alright for a tier 6. So, I mean, it's about the same as the Stug 3 at tier 5. So, you'll still have to work against, like, tier 8 or something. Imagine this thing going up against a BZ-176. You're, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead in one shot. <laughs> yeah, two guns, 75mm and a 105. Stock gun is alright. You have a little bit better accuracy and aim time, just not as good DPM or penetration for that matter, but... It has only one engine upgrade and one garbage radio. Only need to upgrade the gun and that is it. Stock grind on this vehicle is practically non-existent. That is interesting. Yeah, you don't have to work that hard. It is a versatile, so even though it's a sniper most of the time, it's slow, has no armor whatsoever, but stock-wise, yeah. Yeah, stock-wise, you're alright. You're accurate with the 75, just doesn't do that much damage. And when people get shot, they'll hide back into cover, so... Not the biggest of alpha, but yeah, definitely no need to worry about the stock grind. Just go for the gun <laughs> whenever you're ready, but weighs about 31 tons, 32 tons. Horsepower per ton ratio is utter garbage. <laughs> Even when stock, there's no engine upgrade. There's no track upgrade too, so you're not getting better traction. Camo is not half bad, about 20 percentage. View range, yeah. So what is interesting about the camo is, even though it looks good on paper, compared to other tier 6 stationary camo, still middle of the p 
pack when you think about it. I mean, it's nowhere near as good as the Basato or the Yak Panzer IV. All the way behind the Hellcat. I mean, it's still good for a superstructure s of a heavy Type 95 chassis, but eh. I mean, a little bit better than a Chafee Hellcat. A little bit. Uh, I mean, ooh, this thing. How the hell do you feel about it? It is low tier, so nobody really gives a crap about tier 6 anymore. <laughs> uh, well, definitely a rammer. You'll want rammer on this thing. Let's see, tier 6 tank to shore. Uh, I'll use the Yak Panzer IV. Um, binoculars would be great. You're not going anywhere fast, so you're definitely camping and camouflage nets. You could put a turbocharger inside the camouflage net to make you go a little bit faster, but you're not getting to prime sniping positions early on. You're you're taking your sweet time, definitely. So you could put a turbocharger, you could put optics instead of binoculars, but once you fire the gun, and it is a large caliber gun, you lose your camo to about 5% or 4%. So not the worst, but definitely you'll be spotted at that point. Now, it is low tier, so spotting it might be a problem with lower view range, but then again, you have to get a little bit closer to receive radio transmission, so... I don't know how I feel about this garbage. <laughs> it is a Type 95 chassis after all, and fuel modification for low tier is practically the same. Choose the first one for tank destroyers, always choose the first one for tank destroyers, no question about it. Aim time! or aim circle size. You already have good enough aim time, especially with all the Japanese tank destroyers. Yeah, 1.9, so just go with better accuracy. 0.34 could be a little bit buffed to about 0.32 or 33 for the 105, so better accuracy. And definitely more view range than concealment after firing, so no question about that. But how the hell would I rate this vehicle? It is a BERT, but it's just nice fast. And they did nerf the size of the BERT from like what, a E25? So they increased the size by like half or doubled or something like that. Just, ugh. But I would say low tier, it's whatever. I mean, stock grind is not that difficult. So just make your way to the tier 7 and forget about it. But it's like a 4. <laughs> Maybe 4.5. The thing about it is it's slow. It has no armor. So you're not getting to prime sniping position right off the bat. And once you get there, you're not going anywhere fast or running away anywhere fast like a Hellcat. You cannot relocate as quickly like a Hellcat or the Chafee Hellcat for that matter. Or even the Jackson, the Slugger. So you have to rely on your teammates to actually live and take the hits. Whereas you're doing the damage with a 105, but yeah, it's like a 4 4.5 at best out of 10. Oh, well, there you go, folks. We just had to cover the tier 5 now, and then we'll be finished with the Japanese tank destroyer. So they will likely come out around late April, May or so. The test server will be up likely April. So I'm saying likely May for the release of the Japanese tank destroyer right before summer. And for the Japanese heavies, likely around October or September or so. So that's usually the two line of normal tanks for the year, but yeah, it seems okay. Tier 7 looks the best, but there you go, folks. So as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah, you